What was that? Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. Oh. What's up guys, Dwayne Lulu here again, find some dots. Uh, we're gonna go. Beautiful day, late start, just got off of work not too long ago. Gorgeous sunshine. I've had some rain the last few days, but I'm really hoping to not find muddy water. I wanna find some clean water. I really wanna sight fish some reds, but you know, if I can find some trout, I'm awesome with that. Redfish is good just whatever you know but uh hey thanks for joining us we got a hard falling tide right now and we're gonna we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see what happens i run to a fella back here at the boat launch watches the channel so if we catch something today and you happen to watch i certainly appreciate you watching my man you and your buddy so uh yeah hopefully we catch some and uh hopefully we'll see y'all out there when we catch some fish all right guys here we go some of the nice fish we caught today not necessarily in order but uh ended up with a inshore slam some few nice speckled trout biggest up to 20 inches so i had a couple of fish for release over 20. but anyways as i said tide was falling really hard so i started off with a 5 16 which i don't I wasn't really showing on video then i bumped it up to a 3 8 i had to get that 3 8 down i was fishing in the middle of the bayou current was running really hard and i caught my first little redfish but apparently he was there all by himself made a move caught another redfish with some current coming through some structure and from there had to move again and basically just a lot of moving today guys a lot of moving and i preach that to y'all all the time move 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 i do not sit in one spot more than five minutes if i don't get hit or even any you know don't get hit don't get a bite if i get a bite get a hit i'll spend maybe a little bit more time but anyways that is the key keep moving a lot of current most of the fish were in the middle of the bayous not on the edges uh definitely the speckled trout speckled trout was in the middle and if they weren't in the middle they were on the channel side of the bayou meaning if the fish if the channel ran along one side of the bayou it was deeper on one side that that was where i caught them was on the deeper side so hope y'all enjoy it let me know what you think and yep i appreciate y'all guys There he is. Is that a red? Look like a red. <clears throat> Looking like a red to me.
Can they hang out in here pretty good? They can. It's, I've seen a lot of crab, no shrimp. Yeah, there's shrimp in here. They're just small. Um, it man, the, the reds, man, it's like anything. You got to figure them out. They're either right now it's too shallow for them to be in the marsh. I would expect them to be along the edge of the marsh right now. If you're after reds, I would cast towards the edge of the marsh. Come off of it. So me and this guy right here passed each other a couple different times. Like he would get ahead of me and stop, and I would pass him. I would stop and start fishing. He he'd come ahead of me, and we just kind of did that a couple different times. But he's kind of new to the area, and I was just kind of talking to him, letting him know what I knew about the area, and you know, just kind of made a, a a new friend, I guess you could say. And uh, he's he's watched the channel before, and. I, I didn't get to see where he was from, if he's from Mississippi or Louisiana, but uh, nice boat he's got there. And uh, anyways, if you watch this one, my man, I sure appreciate you. And uh, hopefully you caught some fish, man. I don't know if y'all remember my last video or not, but I was talking about my reels and I bought new bearings for all three of my Shimano Corrados. And oh my gosh, they just sound so much better. I had one that had the ceramics in it, which they're really expensive, supposed to be really great, but I didn't see the performance in them. Uh, I couldn't cast any further than I normally do. And to these bearings I got, I got them off of Amazon. I just put the size that I needed ordered them all most of them were for like rc vehicles and stuff but they certainly do sound a lot better i soaked them in some uh solvent to get the grease that they put in them out and i put a couple of drops of 
oil in them, the, you know, the oil that you use for your bearings in a reel. Did that, put them back in, and yeah, they certainly sound a heck of a lot better, and I was happy for that. Pretty sure the only lure color I've used so far is the Matrix 3X Shad Lime Light, and you get a glimpse of it here and there. It's a it's green looking lure, and it's caught some nice fish today for me. I did use some other lures, and we'll get to them when we get to them. That lures the Matrix Shad oh. Magneto. Beautiful. Might be 15. Let's see. Yep, 15. You hooked. She looks, she looks hooked good. good. Oh, man, they're wanting it slow. They don't want anything fast, guys. Nothing fast at all. This one ain't that big, but it's another one. It's another one.
there's like another trout. We'll see. What was that? Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. 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 oh yeah. One fat 20 inches. 20 on the button. Nice. Let this big girl go, baby. Good. Well, at least there's one good one down there. Yeah. At least there's one good one down there. Let's see if there's some more. Solid fish. Solid fish. This is the Drake Bait's perfect season. 16 inches. Oh, that was a fault. Man, he is nowhere near the size as he hit it.
look nice. All right, so this boat right here <clears throat> that goes by me right here, after he got gold and took off, I heard him run aground. And I know exactly where he run aground. And the only thing I can guess is he just doesn't really know this area. And that's why I always tell people, learn your waters. And I've had a lot of people ask me, what kind of boat should I get, man? Personally, ask me, what kind of boat should I get? And I'll tell them, if you don't know your waters, it would be best to buy a small skiff of some sort and go out and start learning your waters. Take two or three years, learn your waters, then you can upgrade to a different boat, you know. But people that have no experience on the water whatsoever, please, please go buy you a boat that is small, that is not going to affect any you know not gonna hurt your pocket when you're running the ground and i tell you this because of this just had right a boat here. run the ground here let's watch this dude run the ground people don't know their waters oh my god i ain't and there's no way i'll be able to get him off of there there he goes he's stuck like chuck i'll tell you guys Learn your waters. Now, people always ask me, what kind of boat do I want to get? What kind of boat do I want to get? What do I need to do? What do I need to get? I tell them, get you a small boat and go out and learn your waters. And that's why right there. That is exactly 100% why. That dude just come to a dead stop. Doesn't know his waters. Prime example. I'm glad nobody got thrown off the front of the boat. Nobody's wearing life jackets. I always tell y'all to wear your life jackets. Wear your kill switch. That's that right there. They got lucky. They got lucky, guys. And I'm glad. Glad nobody got hurt and all that good stuff. But, man, I know y'all think I'm trying to tell people what to do and all that. But it ain't nothing like that, guys. It's, it's my job, what I do. I've pulled people out the water many a times that could still be alive today because they wasn't wearing kill switches, wasn't wearing life jackets, and just things of that nature. So, hey, back up and get on the other side. Back up, you go run the ground. Go across about the mouth of that bayou and hug that line. Let's get the mud he kicked up. And that's sand where he come across too, man. If he'd have gotten on top of that good, he's lucky. This tide's coming in. I'm we'll gonna try to get him across here, see which way he's going. I don't know where they're going. Come across to about the mouth of that bayou and hug that line. You'll be able to get over here.
All right, so we got them guys through there. Had to kind of coach them through getting around that really shallow spot and they, they got through there, so. I was trying to tell them how to get back from where they launched, but they're still going to go fishing. I, I honestly, I just told them just stay out front. These, I said, I said y'all obviously don't know these bayous, huh? And he's like, no. I said, yeah, there's a lot of shallow spots. I'm glad y'all are all right. Nobody got hurt and thrown out or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I, I told them to just go out front. The, the boat that they got ought to be plenty enough to handle the waves that they got out there right now, as long as they, you know, take it easy and not doing anything crazy. So hopefully, hopefully they make it back home safe. But uh, we got them through that part anyways. So uh, we had a good day of fishing, wasn't bad. Uh, inshore slam, some nice trout, nice 20 inch trout. 18, 16s, 15s. So it wasn't a bad day. Flounders. Uh, hey, you know, appreciate y'all joining me guys. This is Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots. Till next time, we out.